What is um, Billy Sam's currently doing right now in his life? Well, I'm kind of I'm working for Lear Corporation. I um, I'm currently a material analyst. Uh, all of the uh, I, I make sure that all the raw materials are ordered out of South America, North America. Uh, we build all four vehicle seats, first and second row, and third row seats for the new vehicle. Um, I, I've been there until almost eight and a half, nine years, more than nine years. Okay. What kind of advice can you give to athletes? I mean, one day being in your position, um, didn't really grow up loving the game, but the game grew on him. He loved the game, was, was able to dominate, um, had the opportunity to go to college, travel all across the country. Um, and, and have the ability to, to play basketball. What, what kind of advice can you give that, 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 that kind of athlete? You know what, man? I, I often say that you know, we're living in a different time. These kids, you know, as kids, they don't see or they can't foresee because we, as kids, we always think we, are, we can conquer the world uh, not knowing any better. Everybody young going to get old one day. And I often say to young, young, young men, um, stay focused. Um, as black men, we are, you know, I always say with the highest suspension and expulsion rate in the state in, in Chicago, um, I often say it's to young, young kids and cousins and stuff that I have, you know, if you want to be successful, you have to invest in your life. Investing in your life, in your education, investing in having having desire and loyalty to yourself first, as far as trying to accomplish any any type of small or large accomplishments you're trying to achieve. Uh, I think a lot of kids don't understand, you know, and, and maybe because they don't have the direction at home. But I think it starts with you know just trying to stay focused and being loyal to yourself. The loyalty. You know, I always say loyalty brings royalty. If you're loyal to yourself, your time will come. Uh, if you stay focused, uh, live right, and work hard, it'll pay off. I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm a prime example. I mean, I was one of those athletes that uh, went off to school and didn't, didn't get his degree, but ended up getting a ton of experience in, in management. And now I'm able to go anywhere I want because I was young at one point, not listening to um, my father or my mom telling me, hey, this is what you need to do to succeed. Uh, just trying to do things my way. But I, I end up learning, and luck, luckily, luckily, I end up having the opportunity to uh, get in a position where I'm, I'm making decent, decent money. Uh, I'm able to, uh, I'm able to pass knowledge on and help other people. Uh, it's, it's truly a blessing. And I tell these kids all the time, uh, for any kid, you have to be loyal to yourself to, to, to develop and grow as a young man and stay focused on what you want to achieve in life. Because it's just a small investment after four years of high school and four years of college. It's just a small investment that's, that, that's a long-term payoff. Um, I think that a lot of the the, uh, the, the the standards need to be raised in East Chicago for these kids so that they'll understand, they, in which they won't as kids, are setting the bar a little higher as far as academics, maybe raising it to a 2.5, say, look, if, you know, and again, I, I, as we discussed earlier, I think that East Chicago has become so content on wins and losses and not content on trying to produce well-rounded individuals. Uh, that's our goal, to produce productive individuals that's going to be better prepared for life, uh, for college and after college, because uh, college makes who you are. It, it, it molds you, shapes you, it, uh, because you have the freedom, you have the choice when you go to college, you go to class, you have the choice to get your education. In high school, you don't have that choice. You, you live in your parents' room. Uh, it's, it's totally a different time. And I tell kids all the time, it's a small investment. Uh, once 
you if you invest that that those eight years, four years of high school and four years of college, it's going to pay off. It's going to be a big payoff where you you can look back on it and respect everything you accomplish. You, know, you can pass it on. But that's my belief, man. I think that we just need to we need to set the bar a little higher in East Chicago for these kids, and, and, and more so even even with the AAU. I mean, these kids, if you don't have a 2.5 GPA, you cannot you cannot play in this basketball team. And I mean, that's just my opinion. I mean. Anybody else, you know, it's, I'm just putting it out there because I think that we need to have these kids attend four-year universities, not Division II, because if we putting kids in junior colleges, that means that coach have to put them in a, a, a four-year program after that. So, I mean, and after that two-year program, the high school coach has lost touch with him. So, at that point, he's out of your hands. So, I think the thing that we need to work on more is developing these kids, putting them on, get them to a higher academic level where they can go to a smaller four-year school so I can say, hey, look, I got him off into college. He got four years of education. No matter where he gets his degree from, he still got he still got his degree. He still receives a degree. Yeah. Billy, I want to thank you, man. It's been a, been a pleasure with I you in this interview. It. Appreciate it. Um, you know, I've been waiting a long time to get you. Um, yeah. I got you on Facebook. Yeah. Had a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, before I go, I, I want to give you two shots off of two people. Okay. Uh, Anthony Hanspart. Okay. He said, tell you, say hi. And then uh, one of your college teammates, um, Craig Cox. All right. Um, Craig Cox. Yeah. Indianapolis. My, that's my old roommate. Yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> that's my man. That's my man. I love it, man. That's two good brothers. Real good brothers. Yeah. yeah. All right. All so, right. This is Athletes Lives Network exclusive interviews. Once an athlete, always an athlete.